Hardware wallets provide good balance between ease of use and security. However, the way most of them are designed at the time of recording this video is that they do not rely on a full node when user is making a transaction. That means that when you make a transaction via their web wallet or an application, you're leaking information to their third-party servers. In this video, we will introduce a BTC Pay server vault and show you how you can use your hardware wallet with a full node inside BTC Pay server for ultimate balance between security, privacy and ease of use. When you launch a BTC Pay server, our stack, among many other things, contains full Bitcoin node. We used that as an advantage and created a built-in wallet inside your BTC Pay, which we also call an internal wallet. That internal wallet is connected to your full node. So whenever you make a transaction through that wallet, no information is leaked to third-party servers for verification, which improves privacy and security. However, in order to spend the received funds from that wallet, you need to sign a transaction. That's why hardware wallets come into place pretty neatly with our infrastructure, because they allow you to sign a transaction with your private key, but your private key never leaves your hardware wallet. It is always stored there. The software which makes uh, hard wallet integration inside BTC Pay possible is called BTC Pay Server Vault. In Lyman terms, the Vault is a separate app locally hosted on your PC, which your BTC Pay server connects to and asks permission. Once permission is granted, BTC Pay is able to integrate with any hard wallet connected to your PC. You can import your wallet and spend the incoming funds with a simple confirmation on your device without keys ever leaving your device and all of the funds are validated against your full Bitcoin node without data leakage. That was BTC Pay Vault in theory. Let's see how all of this comes into place when we do it in practice. Setting up BTC Pay Server Vault is pretty straightforward. You only need to download the application from our GitHub. So go to BTC Pay Server Vault page, go to Releases, and download the application for your operating system. Since I'm showcasing this on a Mac, I'll download the .dmg file. When you download the application, you can verify binary signature. I'll leave a link to the document which will explain how you can verify the signatures. For now, I will just install this app on my Mac. It is good to mention that BTC Pay Server Vault is compatible with both Linux, Mac and Windows. Install the application and open the app. You'll see a very basic interface and in a window that will say that BTC Pay Vault is now ready to use by the web application. And in our case, that web application is our BTC Pay server. So go ahead and launch your BTC Pay server. Bear in mind that this tutorial assumes that you already initiated your hardware wallet, backed up the seed and everything. So our first step would be to generate a store in BTC Pay Server and connect our hardware wallet through it. If you don't have a store yet, you can go ahead and create a new one. Now make sure to plug in your hardware device and make sure that it is in wake up state. At the bottom of the store settings, find Derivation Scheme and click Modify. The process of adding the XPUB key thanks to hardware wallet integration is completely automated. Just to remind you once again, BTC Pay Server Vault app is still running. Click Import From and choose the Vault. Depending on when you're watching this video, our user interface may change. So if something is confusing, make sure to check documentation. I will leave a link to all of relevant resources and documentation in the description of this video. Go ahead and press the Vault. First thing you'll see is that the BTC Pay server will ask for a permission to connect to your Vault. You can read here what kind of permission you're granting and accept it. You'll now see that BTC Pay Server Vault is trying to fetch your hardware wallet that is plugged in into your PC. In this example, I'm using Trezor T, but the Vault is itself is compatible with uh, many other hardware wallets. Once um, BTC Pay Server connected to the Vault, 
it will recognize your device. First thing you need to do is select address type and account. You will here see that SegWit is recommended for cheapest transaction fees. If you are a merchant, you may use SegWit wrapped so that uh, users with legacy wallets can pay their invoices without any compatibility problems. In this example, I, use, I will use SegWit. If you are using different accounts on your hardware wallet, you can also choose that here from the drop down menu. If you don't know what this is, zero is probably what you'll need. Click confirm. And now your XPUB key in an appropriate format will be imported here. Since I am using BTC Pay server in a developer reg test environment, mine will start with TPUB, but yours will be XPUB. Once that is done, scroll all the way to the bottom and click continue. Next, you will need to confirm addresses on your hardware wallet. Pick any of these and click show on device. Now an address will be shown on your wallet. And if address is correct, make sure to click confirm. Once you confirm an address, click confirm. So this is the first step. We now provided the public key for our store completely automated without much tinkering. Now, once you receive some funds to your BTC Pay server wallet, you can then spend them with your hardware wallet. Let's see how that looks. If for any reason you're importing a wallet that was previously used and you do not see a, an appropriate balance in your BTC Pay server wallet, what you should do is rescan the wallet. This will make sure that BTC Pay server fetches an appropriate balance of an earlier transactions as well, not just ones that happen once you configure it. In order to spend the funds, again, make sure that BTC Pay wallet is running. Plug in your hardware wallet and go to Manage. Go to Send tab. You will quickly realize that uh, the internal wallet of BTC Pay server is no different to any other that you've used. So just fill in the destination address where you want funds to be sent, amount and optionally fee. And click Sign with the wallet. Once again, make sure that your hard wallet is in a wake up state, connected via USB and that you have BTC Pay server wallet running. Click Sign with Vault. Now you'll need to confirm the transaction on your hardware device. Once you confirm it, device will then sign the transaction so the transaction can be spent. So on your device, preview the amount and the address. And once you're sure it's valid, click confirm. Next, you'll have an option to now broadcast these transactions. Right now it is just signed, it is still not out there. So in order for it to appear on the network, you've had to broadcast it. So just click broadcast it. And now the transaction is spent. As you see, it is very easy and straightforward to use uh, a hardware wallet with your full node inside your BTC Pay server. If you have any additional questions about how this feature works, do not hesitate to reach out to us on our community chat, chat.btcpayserver.org. And also check out our documentation. This video is made possible by the BTC Pay Server Foundation and all of our supporters. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.